Problem of the day says a falling object is moving at 30 meters per second. <clears throat> and if it keeps falling, how fast will it be moving five seconds later? Okay, so uh, let's start with the givens. Can somebody give me the givens here for this, um, for this problem? Uh, we got the initial velocity. Yeah, what's the initial velocity here? Uh, 30 meters per second. Yeah, 30 meters per second, right? That's how far fast it's moving at the beginning. Remember, initial velocity is not always zero. Um, so and we have the time, delta time. Yeah, that's right. We do have the time, right? How fast will we be moving five seconds later? So, delta yep. great, I-10, thank you. And anything else given here? I see two givens, but we remember we always need three. Uh, we have the VXI. We do have the VXI, right? That's 30 meters per second. Oh. <laughs> so what's the other one? Anybody, anybody, uh, anybody help me with the last given? Uh, we got the acceleration that's going to be negative 9.8. Yeah. Right, and how do you know that? That doesn't say that in the problem, right? How do you know that? Uh, what is this about falling? Yeah, exactly, because it's in free fall, right? Anything falling always has that acceleration, negative 9.8 meters per second squared, right? So if you, don't, if you don't have enough givens, ask yourself, is the object falling? If it's falling, there's your other given. Acceleration is negative 9.8. Okay, uh, so we've got three givens. What's the unknown that we need to look for? For the final velocity? Final velocity, right. Because it asks us how fast will it be moving five seconds later. So how fast is it gonna be moving at the end? Great, so we have our givens and our unknown. Uh, we just need to pick an equation now to use. So if I've got Vxi, delta T, Ax, and Vxf, uh, which one of those big four equations would I pick? The second one. Yeah, the second one, right? The second one right here, VXI, uh, delta T, AX, and VXF, right? Those same four symbols. So I'll copy that down. That's my step three. Now the next step would be to rearrange it if I have to, right? But VXF is, all, is my unknown, and VXF is already by itself on one side, uh, so I don't need to do any of the algebra. Mm -hmm. right, I can just plug the numbers right in. So VXI was 30 meters per second, plus the acceleration was negative 9.8 meters per second squared, um, times the time was five seconds. Uh, now I noticed before I plugged those numbers into the calculator, I noticed a small mistake. Um, if we go back to the givens, my VXI right here is not quite right. If I remember that it's falling, everything that's falling moves downwards, right? So if it's moving downwards, how would I change that VXI to be correct? Negative, negative 30. Yeah, it's negative, right? Thanks, Angel. It's negative because um, because we're moving downwards. So I need to make sure that I have the negative sign here, otherwise I won't have the right answer. Um, okay, is that is that clear why we did that? Anybody have any questions about that or about anything so far? Okay, well, uh, so now I can plug in the numbers and I get uh, negative 30 plus negative 9.8 times five, and I get negative 79. So my final velocity equals negative 79 meters per second. And that seems okay because I was going 30 meters per second downwards and falling after a little while and now I'm moving faster, 79 meters per second downwards. Um, and the meters per second, the units work out because up here I've got meters per second squared times a second so the seconds cancel out with the squared there. Uh, okay, does anybody?